Now Peterson try, looks like he wants to walk uh, the Cuban down a little bit. But the Cuban trying to sink that right hand low. And he's finding a target to the body. Some of those shots partially blocked. But that right hand to the body is landing from Izquierdo. Overhand right from Peterson. Now they're in tight. Now Peterson keeps punching. But again, imploring the referee to do something. And that means he loses focus and valuable seconds there to make an impression. Can't wait till the weekend to get your fighting fix. Well, the best of Showtime Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts airs nightly at 10 o'clock on Show 2. Amazing knockouts. Heated rivalries. Epic battles. You've seen it on Showtime. Now see it again on Show Sports Presents. Every night, Monday through Friday at 10, only on Show 2. I've already told you a couple of times you don't need to move back you need to dig underneath and shoot that right why are you holding it back every time he's, he goes to grab you you should be throwing that right hand and you cannot hit him from a long distance you have got to go after him inside yeah we like hearing that is Chiardo, they want him to go for it a little bit more. Pick it up. you got to take some chances, though, if you're going to get inside on Anthony Peterson. But so far, I think he's held his own inside simply because Peterson hasn't made him pay enough. Now he does. He landed a right seconds before that hook found a home to the jaw of his Chiardo. Through six, Steve, how do you have it now? 58-56 for Peterson. I've given him the last two rounds. And this fight, Nick, it seems very clear to me what's happened. This Kiano came out fast, burnt a lot of energy. He doesn't have 10 rounds of energy in him. So he's holding more now, fighting less. It's up to Peterson to take advantage of that. Peterson's young, untested, uh, tested, untested, but he's been 10 rounds. So he should want to make this more of a fight, not less of a fight. Right. Let's see if he does pick it up. All about intensity. He's the bigger puncher again. Likes to pressure guys, likes to fight inside, would prefer that. Technically, he looks pretty solid. As the Cuban walked into the left hand. Is that a knockdown? It looked like he got caught, but it definitely that left hand. Left hand rolled his Gergo down. So Steve, as you hit it, maybe his Gergo starting to step on his tongue. Looking more tired. His mouth is open again, holding on. That yeah, was a left hook, and it was a delayed reaction as Gerda decided to take a knee. The most impressive thing about that left hook, it was a counter punch. And Anthony Peterson trying to land it again. On the right and the left, and now he drives this Gerda back. He's going for it now. This Gerda's in trouble. He better hold on. And now Peterson used him for a battering ram, really open fire. Gerdo got to hold on. He doesn't want any more at this pace. He has tasted some flush shots from Anthony Peterson, who has opened up in his most impressive round, dropping his Gerdo with a left hook and hammering him around the ring with some combinations of his work. See, when you're already facing a 10-8 round, you sort of want to hold your way back if you're that tired. And in the round, he's lost. You just try to survive and get back and get, try to freshen up a little bit. But no, I, I agree with you, Nick. I think it's all about survival, and not just because he got knocked down this round. First year, though, I think he's just out of gas. But he's, going, you know, he's really engaging uh, Peterson again. I give him credit for that. It makes for a more interesting fight for viewers, but I don't know if it's the smartest strategy. Just Cut your losses, make it a 10-8 round, go back, and don't waste any more energy in a hopeless round. What are you doing standing in front of him? Don't do that. Don't do that. Give me the water. Action from round seven. We call Anthony Peterson a natural left hooker. Hook to the head, hook to the body, and Izquierdo goes down. 
Yeah, you know what? It was really, Nick said the knockdown blow was a cuffing shot. It was, but I think it was the hook to the body on second look that really was the dip, was the reason the Cuban went down. And later in the round, he's in survival mode. He gets hit with three or four good shots there. The right hand coming into play also. Again, Peterson now throwing in combination. Looked like the fight might have been almost ready to be stopped there. But it's Kierdo. He's a veteran, knows the tricks, and he knew to hold. Yeah, and he fired. He did fire back with something. He is game as they come, and he's falling dangerously behind, it seems, certainly on your card, Steve. I would say, Nick, at this point, yeah, 68, 64, four, four points. points. Just the question of whether Peters gets a stoppage or not. Tricky guy is here, though, and he can take a shot, obviously. So no disgrace if Peterson wins uh, comfortably a 10-round decision. Now he's trying to box from outside. Just single shots with that jab. And Steve, that's one of the criticisms I have of Anthony. I don't feel that he's constantly on that jab in terms of really making it a power shot. And, of course, this late, uh, there may not be any point unless you're just playing it safe right now. Interesting thing this round. It, it, it's his gear who's coming forward, which is what his corner has wanted. Easy for them to say, but now he's going backwards big time, hammering, getting hammered with a right hand as Peterson lets loose again. Back, back. I know. Well, Peterson absolutely has found the mark, and he is stalking with intent now. He's changed his game. Well, Anthony Peterson, he's been eight or more step four back, times. Back, and he's looking for that second KO, and he may get it. I mean, he's had his gear to hurt now two or three or four times in the last two rounds. And it could be just a credit to Izquierdo that he could take a crack, he could take a shot. Oh, yeah. Well, Izquierdo had been knocked down once by Casal in the first round yeah, of the fight. That didn't look like it. I know. You didn't think it was a knockdown at all. I thought maybe there was a right hand involved, but nothing major. Now they look like they're boxing on pogo stick. <laughs> but it's amazing how in 30, the first 30 seconds, Peterson just boxed. Oh, and there's that left hand again. He gets drilled with overhand rights, and he's down. Keith Hughes will take a long walk. As Izquierdo takes the count and is up, beating it. But there is one minute to go in this eighth. Anthony Peterson should close it out here. There he goes. You know Izquierdo, now he's holding on. Not even playing keep away, but holding on here. And Peterson allowing him to. Well, it's up to Peterson to use his feet here just as, as much as his fists. He doesn't want to let Izquierdo close because Izquierdo's going to grab for a dear life. Now Izquierdo seemed to get a little bit of a second oh, wind as he begins to put punches together. Nothing on him, but he's back in the fight. Or back in the round, anyway. He's not. He's going to finish this round, apparently, when I thought he should have been out of there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. It's a moot point. It's a, it's a point for holding that, he, that the referee is deducting from is It uh, doesn't really matter. I got hit on the way out with that left foot. Second time down, third in the fight. He's not going to get up. Fits the mouth peeks out. He's had enough. He's had enough. And again, a tail end shot from Anthony Peterson. I can't say enough about it. He keep punching. I believe he hit him once with the left, missed with the right, but followed up and tracked him down with that. Left hook that oh, finished him. Oh, my people's back home in DC. I know y'all. Um, hey, props to this guy, Anthony Peterson. Down Peterson down very much in control. I didn't think right came out right blazing, down. didn't show enough fire to me, but he got it done, didn't he? Well, he did. It took him uh, five rounds. Two, three knockdowns. Can't complain about that. But you can't help project. The, the, the Perhaps the two best lightweights in the world, Juan Diaz and. Uh, Michael well, we got to see this. Yeah. yeah, and they're both aggressive guys. And, and when they fight Peterson, he's going to have to do more than just stick his gloves up, twist and turn, and block shots. There. He's going to have to be much more aggressive than that. We just got down some water here. Happy New Year. At least it's water. <laughs> no, I'd rather have it be champagne, actually. But it's not blood. But here we see the loser, Jose Esquergo, had had enough. First time he's been stopped. He's now lost his two, uh, his last two fights. And he's no longer a prospect in my book, Steve. He was going into this fight, a very live prospect, I thought. But Anthony Peterson is the guy with the upside potential. No doubt.
Peterson knocked down Izquierdo like twice in this round. Yeah, here it is, action from round eight. Izquierdo trying to stay close and hold. Peterson wouldn't let him. You see that left hook is just thrown with a lot of body leverage. I was, I was watching Izquierdo's corner right here, Nick, because Izquierdo's looking for his corner yeah. right there for instruction. And the corner said, you know, with his hands, the corner said, stay down, stay down. Then he lifted his hands up. So the corner wanted oh, it to watch, continue. Watch this left. You know, that was short and sweet, that left hook that started it. Well, an impressive finish for sure. There's the big look at the corner. Still the first knockdown in that round. Now we'll look again at the second. Yeah, and then here's the big finish. There's that left, and then he'll fall. Hell, there's a right to the top of the head that started it, but, you know, Izquierdo was cooked by then. I like the way he really tracked him down and gunned him down. Steve, talk a little bit future. Uh, you mentioned.